Как и пенсион на детстве? Hello guys, it's me again, Josh, and today I am doing a stop motion tutorial on Windows Movie Maker. One editor, video editor that I'm always using because you guys are asking me. Well, I'm here to tell you that now it's Windows Movie Maker for stop motion anyway. But right now I'm currently using Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing at least, and only using for Windows Movie Maker for stop motion because the best thing I could use anyway for now. Also guys, please check out this guy, it's GFDYT. Is that YouTube? I think it is. Thank you so much GFD for making me my awesome fan art, man, it's really awesome. Kagibuchi no Jutsu, with me wearing my hood, and my glasses, and of course, my Kaneki mask. Thank you very much dude, it's really awesome, I really love it, it's my first, it's my first fan art from any one of you, so. Thank you. You guys be sure to check out this channel. You made awesome videos too. So anyway, let's get started on Windows Movie Maker. Here it is, Windows Movie Maker. The um this is the latest version. That's I think 2012. Because I think that was the last or 2014. 2012 or 2014. Uh if you're gonna download this, just make sure to download Windows Setup 2014 or 2012. I can't remember, but yeah. So if you're going to open um a file you can have this there's a uh, three steps to do it click here and then here it is you can browse your pictures here your frames or you can put the add videos and photos then it's also the same thing or the easiest way is you could just go to the folder itself and just click select all the frames you want and then drag it drag and drop there it works so here are all the frames now and Make sure everything is selected, and then go to edit, and then put the time, it's default set in 7.0 seconds, but we're gonna use it in less than 1 second, which is 0 0.07, and then once you play it, it looks like this. There, see, it is very smooth. Now, I don't know if this is normal, but in my, for my phone, there's always this all focus line here, but if there is something like that in you, then just delete it. Select it and then delete there. Don't need to mind that. So let's add some more. You can, if you're just gonna add some more, just click it, select it, and drag and drop. Then it works just fine. So anything else besides that, you can also adjust the duration. For example, you want him to stay like this, like that for, sh for a long time. Make it one second, or if you want, two seconds, three seconds, whatever, how long. There, you see. Or if you want it to stop here, in the middle. There, it's just gonna continue after that one second. And now we're just gonna go to... Um, add music. So adding music. For example, we're gonna use... Energized. Open it. Then it's gonna play there. But this music takes too long. We're just gonna have to make it. As you can see it plays. Then if you just can edit it in options, you can make a fade in, fade out thing. Slow, medium, fast. So for example, we're gonna split it. There's a split button here. There, if you don't want this part, just gonna, you can just delete it. Once you play it, there's the fade in fast. Automatically works. Or if you want to fade out, this is how it sounds like in the bottom. And if you're gonna add a fade out, it's gonna sound like this. So that works for pretty, pretty well. So, anything else we can do? start point for example we want to start over here there it automatic automatically deletes the one from behind and already starts there set endpoint does the same thing and then it's gonna delete the last one also there's uh in, this, in the project you can emphasize the narration or the emphasis the video 
it will focus on the sounds of the voice if there's someone talking and the sounds or if you want it to focus on just the video, the sounds, you can just do that or the music or the mix, you can adjust whether it's gonna focus on the music manually or on the video or in the middle, it's gonna focus on both it's gonna be balanced so right now we don't have voices or sound effects but we're gonna add one but how are we gonna overlap it? we're going to go to record narration add sound for example we're gonna use Spider-Man's voice. We added this without using the record narration, but just add sound within the record. Get ready! Maximum Spider! So if you wanna cut it, just do the same thing, go to options. Just be sure to click the other the, not the green one, the is this orange? Pitch. I'm not sure of the color. Then you can use the start point or you can use split. Ready! Split here, then we can just just it over there. Maximum spider! Or you want it to go here. Maximum spider! See, it works. Then you can adjust the narration volume here. Same thing with the music. If you go to the music tool, music volume, there. Just the, does the same thing, adjusting the volume. Adding captions, you can add captions, add caption, <laughs> then type whatever you want there. Then edit it in format. You can put it there, there, you know the basics here. Just adjust the size of it. There we go. Or you can just use these. Or make it bold, you know, the font all here. There, you can add the outline. You can select whatever you want, how big it is. There, you can see it's gray. You can change the color from here. There, make it black, make it red. You know the drill. Then the credits here. Everybody's asking me how I do the credits, it's just here, write your name there. For instance, I always use by Joshua Martin, of course. Then you can make it up here, and then it's gonna play like that. Here you want it to look different. You can use these, these. So pretty much um so this is So, whatever you guys want. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, and thank you again GFD for my fan art, it is really awesome. So, thank you guys for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.